Something's wrong with Chucky. I want to take a couple minutes to talk about the Child's Play remake that just came out on the 21st. Uh, to cut to the chase, I watched it, and you know what? It is good for what it is, which is what I expected from the start. If it just tried to be its own movie, if you just ignored that it's a remake and all of that, I had a good time. You know, it's not amazing or anything, but it's definitely watchable, and, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not bad. But now on to the bad part. It's not Chucky, because it's not Charles Lee Ray. Um, it's a doll that kills people. It is not a serial killer named Charles Lee Ray that died and put his soul into the doll. It has nothing to do with that. So, there's no reason to call it Chucky. They literally, in the movie, just have the doll malfunction and... They try to call it something else, and it just decides that its name is Chucky. Which just seems really forced and kind of sad, really. Um, they should have just called it Buddy. Instead of a good guy doll, because they couldn't use the name, it's a Buddy doll. So, they call him Buddy, and Buddy is said way more often than Chucky is. So, if they had just called him Buddy, it actually probably would have worked out a lot better. They could have been creative and respected the franchise by honoring it by using the original title, which was Bloody Buddy, even though the concept wouldn't be the same. But even then, you know, it would be related to Child's Play, but doing its own thing, as opposed to trying to cash in on the actual name of the franchise and everything that it's, you know, accomplished. Uh, let's go into the cast a little bit, and I'll explain how I felt about them. Mark Hamill, first of all... I, I was completely against the idea of the movie, but then once I heard Mark Hamill was doing the voice of Chucky, I was... I was like, okay. That gives it some legitimacy. If you're gonna get anybody to do the voice of Chucky and not have Brad Dorff, why not have Mark Hamill? But unfortunately, I thought he was going to save the role, and he does a good job, but he never does a big laugh that he is known for for playing the Joker and whatnot. And never does he go all out like you know he can. He plays the role very subdued, even at the end when everything goes crazy. It's just... I was just still really let down with his... Uh, with his performance. Aubrey Plaza as Karen Barkley. She's just there, and she's more of an antagonist to Andy than fucking Chucky is, because of how little she cares about her own son. All she wants to do is work and get laid. Her character is just barely there and written so badly. And then Aubrey Plaza is known for quirky roles where she doesn't understand how to act like a person, which is exactly what she struggles to do here. I'm glad to see her get a chance to be in a big movie like this, but I just feel like it's a little out of her comfort space. That and her Karen Barkley is a complete insult to the badass mom that we get in the original Child's Play. Uh, Detective Mike Norris... You know, he was a badass, not afraid to call bullshit on Andy. Quasi-love interest for Karen. Uh, Brian Henry in the remake is a more mellow comedic relief extra. There's no romance. Um, if anything, we see him and his mom hang out and argue all the time, which just makes him more of a man-child and less than a serious detective. And His character is really just kind of wasted here. Uh, Gabriel Bateman as Andy, he's there, you know, he's too old, and they make that part of the plot, which just seems really forced and awkward, like they just didn't want to hire a younger kid, so they just tried to justify why this older kid would have this doll. Um, I never really believed his fear, and instead of him telling anyone who will listen that his doll is killing people, he hides it. And it just makes things worse, and it makes him look like an idiot. 
and he has some friends that he hangs out with here and there and thankfully they don't focus on that because I'm really tired of the Stranger Things trend focusing on kids, on bicycles, fighting the evil. The best thing I can say about this movie is the advertising has been amazing. They took the internet jokes about Chucky and Toy Story and made them real since Toy Story 4 was coming out at the same time. Um, they also referenced other horror films and the ads have been great. But after seeing the finished product, um, I think the ads actually hurt the film because they're very misleading. These ads are something that the original Chucky that we know and love would do because he wasn't afraid to break the fourth wall like in Bride and Seed of Chucky. And the 420 ad definitely reeks of OG Chucky. This new just doll doesn't have any personality or anything because he's just a doll. He's not a person in a doll. So it just, I mean, the pe the people that did the advertising definitely need, you know, praise for what they did, but it doesn't really fit the movie that we got. Uh, the look of Chucky is garbage. Yes, he looks like a toy. But even when he goes all evil, it's still laughable. The original Chucky design is decades old and still horrifying. You can argue that the doll is becoming human so he looks more human when in evil mode, but then do that in the plot. Because in this movie, we don't get that. The doll pretty much just looks cheesy and stupid the whole movie. And a serial killer using voodoo to put his soul into a doll and needing to escape it before turning back to human is creative and entertaining. A doll that's set to evil by a disgruntled employee like a crusty doll is just boring and lazy. And the doll watching horror movies on TV and it that influences it to murder people only fuels the asshole political viewpoint that horror films make people murder. So I don't think that was a great idea on the writer's part. In the end, like I said, Child's Play 2019 is entertaining and watchable for what it is, but it's not Child's Play. It's not Chucky. And it probably deserved to go direct to video rather than theaters. And the only reason it got made and released and anybody saw it is because they were writing on the title. And that's my problem with remakes. They're just trying to ride on other people's work and accomplishments instead of trying to do something of their own. So you know what? Call the movie Bloody Buddy. Call the doll Buddy. Like I said, they call it Buddy more often than they ever say Chucky in the movie. And you have a harmless time waster killer doll movie. But it's not Chucky. <laughs> Don't fuck with the Chuck! <laughs> oh my god.